every day she stands on that doorstep and just waits for her husband to come home. Meanwhile, she could close that room a little. The whole business is hanging out. I can't believe you would stand here and invade the intimacy of two lovers when the view from my room is spectacular. <laughs> My day consists of buy Brighton socks, take Grace to therapy, pick up Mr. Sheffield's prescription. Please, my heart bleeds for you. There are two words on my list. Don't jump. <laughs> <laughs> well, bye, sweetie. Bye. I love you. Bye. Bye, Val. Oh, Niles, mm. when did I become such a housefrau? Me. I mean, where's the excitement? Where's the passion? <sighs> All I got is the drudgery. What, not chopped egg with the caviar? <laughs> the other housefrau didn't feel like chopping. Well, it's like me and Mr. Sheffield have been married for 20 years and all the thrill is gone. Only we skip the throat part altogether. <laughs> you know, if I wanted to be in a sick and twisted relationship, I could be living at home with my parents. <laughs> <laughs> God, friend, you will never believe what happened to me at what? school today. What? I'm walking down the hall after third period, yeah. and Sean comes up to me, and he pulls me into the stairwell, and he starts making out with me. Oh, honey. <laughs> friend, it was so intense. I couldn't breathe. Oh, his chest was pressed up against mine. Oh, his mouth was so hot. <laughs> And he whispered, I love you. Say it again. Only lower and try an English accent. Mm. Isn't it bittersweet to look on passionate youth and know for you it's gone forever? And on that note, we move into the second level. Miles? Look at this. It's half empty. You think you're the only one whose life sucks? <laughs> oh, dear, Niles, what is it this time? Your job? Your weight? No future? <laughs> Actually, I was just wondering why I don't have a social life, but you cleared that right up for me. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right, Cece, come on, let's get started. Oh, now we'll take our supper in the office tonight. Wait a minute. You're working tonight? You're supposed to be taking me and Gracie to the movies. Betty Fine, isn't that your job? Maxwell will go insane if he has to see the hunchback one more time. Then why don't you quit? <laughs> oh, Niles. Dear sweet, overcompensating for his little spatula, Niles. <laughs> Mr. Sheffield, I know that you're very busy with your show and everything, but I really don't think that that's an excuse for you to neglect your children. Well, how exactly am I neglecting them? Well, they sit around here all day waiting for you to come home, and then you never once say, let's go out for drinks, let's go dancing, you look sexy in that outfit. <laughs> I'll get it, I'll get it. Oh, I guess it's just not meant to be. I wasn't put here to have a handsome British millionaire sweep me off my feet. Hello, love. <laughs> she was working in a bridal shop in Flushing, Queens, till her boyfriend kicked her out in one of the... ...those crushing scenes. What was she to do? Where was she to go? She was out on her fanny. So over the bridge from Flushing to the Sheffield's door She was there to sell makeup, but the father saw more She had style, she had flair, she was there That's how she became the nanny Who would have guessed that the girl we described Was just exactly what the doctor prescribed Now the father finds her beguiling Watch out, CC And the kids are actually smiling Such what is he? She's the lady in red when everybody else is wearing tan The flashy girl from Flushing 